hope you are having a great time just as I am. On today's edition, it is going to rain accolades, but that's not just it. The Nigerians in Diaspora Commission has just launched her monthly newsletter, so it will be easier to get information and top stories easily. It is one thing to make a promise, but a greater commitment to keep to that promise. Smidan, in partnership with the Nigerians in Diaspora Commission, has kept to its promise by empowering returnees. I bet you do not want to miss these stories. I am Coin Sola at Datumbi, and you are watching The Diaspora. Stay tuned. NITCOM launches its first ever newsletter. This was presented by the media unit of the commission. The chairman CEO, Honorable Abike Dabiri Arewa, who was present, received the packaged bulletin and showed excitement and also encouraged the unit to do more. The presentation of our that's for our newsletter. Officially, I was uh, giving a copy to just browse through. I said, "Oh, within 24 hours." And uh, it's my pleasure and honor to invite uh, Deborah Alandeshi to make the presentation. Also, thank you, Ma, for believing in us. And so, officially, we hand over to you. <laughs> First, most <laughs> Okay, we're also, as you can see here, we're all girls here. Yes. All girls. Yes. 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 And as uh, Balogu has said, I didn't know they call you the golden girls of the Diaspora <laughs> Commission. <laughs> so really, I'm proud of all of you. Thank, Thank you so much. much. And uh, this may seem small, but it's big, mm -hmm. that all of you new staff, all girls were able to put this together. This is going to be the beginning of bigger things coming from the media department. I want to thank your bosses, Gabriel Odu, Deputy Editor-in-Chief, Mr. Alaji Malam, Chief Abdurrahman Balogo, the Editor-in-Chief, our brothers, BDM, who is ever there for us, who are the photo editors, the photographers, and the TV people, cameraman, photographer, and our supporters. So thank you very much. Proud of my Golden Girls. So like we said, this has to be regular. You online and then we do hard copies. We support you get hard copies done. And this is your diaspora newsletter. We go all over the world. And at the time that we want to be talking about the image of Nigeria and celebrating the best. So I'm proud of you, Golden Girls. Keep it up. And uh, well done. And thank you to your bosses for all the support. We're working on an online radio station to at least start by communicating with Nigerians in the diaspora online. Then we'll move subsequently, you know, to other things. So be ready for that. Yeah. Okay. A round of applause for our channel. It is only in media department that you can get this stuff. It's the great stuff. So media department can always deliver. A round of applause. So we want to thank all of you for the energy. You know, when she, we discovered her, I told her that these girls are very talented. Eh? We make discoveries every day. We discovered Konshola, we discovered Khadija. Now, we didn't know that we have a graphic designer. You know, so it's, you know, the talents, yeah. You know, so we have to we keep discovering you. And we show us your strength, your weakness. We help you, we push so that you go forward. So we thank you and we encourage you. It is a monthly newspaper. You cannot go less. So for now, more stories, like you said, other stories outside, uh, normal stories, that makes it busier and uh, very exciting to read. So that when we churn out, you see traffic. So uh, that will increase our pay point also in uh, YouTube and I will send all of them. You see the traffic will increase so we need to sit up and tighten our belt. So I thank you, Chairman, for believing in us, trusting us, 
always giving us assignment and uh, helping us to deliver. So we hope and pray and we promise you we will not do less. I just want to say thank you for the opportunity to make the design and thank you for liking the design. I'm so honored by the show of appreciation. Thank you, Ma. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, everyone. Um, it's a privilege to be in a great team and I, I want to say thank you to everyone to, who has contributed in one way or the other to make this a success. And we thank you very much, Ma, for believing in us and trusting us and to our wonderful bosses who has always pushed us to do more. We say thank you very much. The Small and Medium Enterprise Development Agency of Nigeria, SMEDAN, partners with the Nigerians in Diaspora Commission to empower returnees of the South Africa xenophobic attack victims in 2019, as well as other returnees from Libya, Lebanon and others. The initiative has commenced a four-day program to empower some of the returnees and others with hardware equipment to kick off artisan Currently, about 11 states of the Federation keyed in and flagged off the program. The NITCOM chairman, in her keynote speech delivered by Mr. Akombi Abiodu of the program's department in the commission, advised the participants not to despise the period of little beginnings, stating that the modern-day equipment Smedan will hand out to them at the end of the training must be treated as a poverty-defying tool. I'm sure some of you will be wondering what is Nigeria's industrial commission doing here. The idea, the initiative uh, was born out of uh, Honorable Abike Gavari's uh, initiative during the unfortunate incident of xenophobia uh, last year in South Africa, whereby some of our citizens were repatriated. We felt uh, it would be unfair to just leave them to find their level. So therefore, she came up with an idea that uh, there should be a partnership with an organization like Sweden to empower the returnees. Um, I'm happy to tell you that some of the South African returnees, uh, Lebanon, Libya, are uh, among you, going to be a partaker of this uh, program. So that's why Nigeria's Industrial Commission is involved. Thank you, Nidcom and Smedan, for making this. Honorable Abike Dabiri Erewa, Chairman and CEO of the Nigerians in Diaspora Commission, has applauded the honesty gesture of Ms. Chioma Odidika, a Nigerian resident in Columbia, South Carolina of the United States of America, for returning 4,000 US dollars from possible scammers. This was relayed in a statement by the Commission's head of media, Abdurrahman Balogun. He stated that it is a thing of joy that another Nigerian diaspora has made Nigerians proud with her conduct. It is gratifying to note that the uncommon act of honesty of Ms. Choma Odidika has earned her the Integrity Award from the Sheriff of Richland County. Indeed, an uncommon gesture. My name is Choma Euphemia Odidika, also known as CEO. I am the last child of my parents, um, Lady Sarah Louise and Lady Virginia Odidika. I'm from Emo States, um, from a very strong Catholic background, and I grew up in Lagos, Nigeria. Um, I went to command Ibadan and also went to University of Ibadan. Chama is a very fun to be with person. Um, I see myself as a very vivacious person, to be quite honest. I'm full of life, just all around exciting. I'm the type that care to a fault. Actually, my friends see me as a very dependable person, so on, very reliable. And um, yeah, I consider myself that as well. Um, I'm a cook, I'm a chef, I do makeup, I do fashion, I do a lot of stuff. So um, that's who I am. Just fun, bubbly, and just full of life. <laughs> Definitely 
only a strong moral upbringing that is deeply rooted in God. Just like the Bible says, train up a child the way he should go and when they grow, they will not depart from it. So I give God the glory and of course I'm thankful to my parents for instilling the virtue of honesty as well. you the money is tempting but my convictions were stronger I come from a Christian family where our parents taught us to not take what doesn't belong to us so it's not mine so <laughs> I have to return it I feel honored I feel elated immensely grateful to God for the opportunity and a special thanks to the Organization of African Union Chairman here in Columbia, South Carolina. His name is Tona O.K., um, known as Ikukuoma. He is the brain behind all this. He pushed with all his connections to make sure that the award was given to me. So I'm thankful to God for him. And also a special thanks to the Sheriff's Department for this great honor for the kind guest show i'm so happy and most especially to my family as well and um, my very close friend marisa i just want to say thank you so much i would believe that mm, my advice is keep doing the right thing even when no one is watching remain focused and god will definitely reward all your efforts thank you very much Kudos, sis, and thanks for making us proud. It is raining accolades as another Nigerian, Ms. Kike Lomolawa, has just been appointed as the Executive Vice President and the Chief Legal Officer of the Canadian Imperial Bank of Commerce, CIBC, to kickstart on the 12th of October, 2020. Ms. Lawal has more than 20 total years of experience as a leader, a trial lawyer and also a transactional lawyer. She currently holds the title of Chief Legal Officer, Ombudsman and Corporate Secretary at the Interact Corporation, where she has worked for 12 years and led numerous work streams to establish the organization as a fully integrated share capital corporation. She is licensed to practice law in Toronto and in New York, the United States of America. Ms. Lowell has served as a senior associate at Blake, Castles and Graydon LLP and as an associate at the Carter Ledyard and Melbourne LLP. Proudly Nigerian, please keep the Nigerian flag flying. And that's not all on the accolades checklist. Mrs. Perlina Igokwe, a Nigerian-born music executive, has just been appointed as the chairman of the Universal Studio Group in the US. The Universal Studio Group is a division of the NBC Universal, one of the world's leading media and entertainment companies in the development, production, and marketing of entertainment, news, and information for global audience. Mrs. Ibokwe, who was born in Nigeria, has broken ground by becoming the first woman of African descent to head a major American television studio. Great achievements there. Congratulations. Let's also celebrate Dr. John Emeka Akude, who is the first black man to be elected in the Colony City Council, which is the fourth largest city in Germany. A round of applause for this great feat. Still enjoying the power-packed speeches from our panelists and speakers, please listen to Victor Edosium and Dr. Jonathan Obaje's piece from the celebrations. Obaje talked about in Singapore, how has Singapore created from that tiny island nation to become mm. uh, brought in so much foreign direct investment in India when Singaporeans are very few, you know, compared to mm. the population there. So, given those two countries that are visited and 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 I see as model, what are solutions? I think the first one is is 
just this whole alignment around they got to be the alignment from the stakeholders in Nigeria saying okay we have we need we have a need for stakeholder development those of us in the diaspora bring two things important three things capital foreign capital and expertise that may not be homegrown that can be transformed that can be brought back home but more importantly we bring an invaluable network of just mm. our grand equity that is in is in these countries that we live in you know like i live in the united states and truly i can open any door i want to open it's one mm. or two calls so the question becomes if i have that network you know how do you leverage that to say how do we bring in my own case industrial development opening up an automotive plant opening up a auto supply plant that can feed gm majority of my business i do over half a billion dollars of transactions in the automotive mm. industry with gm chrysler ford you know it's easy for me to set up a manufacturing plant plants in asaba for example that mm. feed in parts that are going to gm vehicles i have the network mm. so the question is how do we bring that and how does nitcom become the platform to make those connections and it's not just mm. me you know we have a whole bunch of nigerians in different countries that can provide those three key things capital expertise mm. but more importantly mm. it's the network is a network of relationship mm. because they have built a brand we need to train our youth okay uh, to be in the new age to be able to know how to do things using computers and all that number 2 that means that curriculum in the in our schools need to change in the university and i'm longing to come back to the nigerian university i'm just told by somebody now who said that um, Nigerian University Commission has already changed the policy and they are doing something better now. I would like to come back to Nigeria and transform the curriculum so that our educational system should be very relevant to the industries, okay? Mm. Now it is not. Mm. The second, the third mm. thing is very important is what we call cultural revolution. Cultural revolution because right now we need to restore our moral values in the youth the work ethics, okay, in our youth. And this, we need to have a campaign. And I think that is where the Nigerian Diaspora Commission, that is how we can mm. add value to our society because there are so many things that are going on the other way that we can bring back so quickly because we need to mobilize work ethics. We need to talk about mm. integrity, trust, honesty, because you can talk about all the infrastructure. You can bring capital to Nigeria. If you don't have mm. people running it, you are not going no capital. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You, you wonderful. Know where. Wonderful. And so this has been left untouched. But I must first pay tribute to whom credit is due, and I know past speakers have already complimented the uh, Honourable Abike Dabiri Rewa for her passion in the diaspora and uh, love for Nigeria. But uh, also, and most important, for her persistence, even in the face of very difficult and challenging times. This webinar is being brought to us and to the whole world by dint of uh, the availability of technology. And uh, that said, we would not have been able to have this if it had not been because of uh, this technology, which we have said over the time for over three decades to be very crucial, it's been proven to be very central for lifting every economy for, from its current state, usually developing or depressed to an aspiring and uh, elevated state, hopefully developed. So the question then is, what can we do to make this a critical factor in national development a, a common word and readily available to the everyday Nigerian as, as a vehicle for bringing about this trans transformation process. Ha! Not so fast. Look, I'm tired. I want to check out of this country for greener pastures. Just calm down for a moment. Please sit down. <sighs> Do you have a job where you're going to? 
no, but someone is arranging, you know. Listen, uh, listen, listen, Alinko. Checking out of this country without proper planning means one thing. Unimaginable begin. Eh? You know, I've been in the diaspora, but legitimately, doing great things at home and abroad. As I've been saying, without the proper footing abroad, the risk is not worth it. Listen, Alinko, it's better to be home than be trapped abroad or even end up in prison. Dr. Samson Aribamu is a Nigerian-American of about 22 years and currently the director of nursing at Future Care Lockhart a 200-bed capacity health rehabilitation center in Baltimore, Maryland for about 10 years. Prior to that, he was a director of nursing at Manor Care Woodbridge, Baltimore, Maryland for over three years. Presently, he owns and runs a private clinic called Upsurge Health Associate in Freeland, Maryland. He is recognized for inventing a digital stethoscope that could detect lung and heart sounds interpret the sounds and immediately announce its findings to the users. The stethoscope is also capable of integrating its data into the electronic medical record. The stethoscope is also equipped with electronic medical record integration capabilities essential to telemedicine in order to enhance care coordination and patient information portability. The invention received a USA patent on June 2nd, 2020 and is currently in the prototype phase of production in the USA and Ukraine. Proudly Nigerian. through the program we hope it's been worth your while and in case you have anything to share with us please do not hesitate to do so as we expect feedback on our show remember you can reach us on all our social media platforms on Facebook at Nigerians in Diaspora Commission on Twitter at nitcom underscore gov on our Instagram page at nitcom underscore gov on our YouTube page at nitcom underscore gov and on our website at www .nidcom.gov.ng. You can also join us on DSTV at NTN Network News on Friday at 10.30 a.m. On NTN International on Tuesday at 6 a.m. and 10.05 p.m. On NTN News 24 on Friday at 2.30 p.m. and on Sunday at 10.30 a.m. You can also join us on WAP TV on Thursdays at 9 a.m. and on WTV on Wednesdays and Sundays at 8 p.m. I remain your host, Coin Solar at Datumbi. See you next time. Thank you.